From protecting pipes to protecting people, we have more StormTrack 15 team coverage now with a look at ways to prevent the dangers of hypothermia. News 15 medical editor Dr. John Laprie explains once hypothermia sets in, it can have a snowball effect. As we face this winter blast, let's look at the warning signs of hypothermia and ways to prevent this. The body lives best at a temperature of 97.9 degrees. 90% of body heat is radiated through your skin, so it's important to keep your skin dry and covered. Sweaty or wet clothes lose their insulating ability. Add windy conditions and you can lose heat 10 times faster. A 50 degree day can produce hypothermia in windy conditions with wet clothes. Now let's decrease the core temperature to mild hypothermia. We're maxed out, shunning warm blood flow from the extremities to your core. Shivering has increased warmth, but taken five times more energy. Heart rate and breathing have increased. Headache and fatigue have set in. Now it's time to move indoors, bundle up, and think warm liquids, but never caffeine or alcohol. Both will increase blood flow to the skin at the expense of your core body heat. You'll feel warmer, but lose vital core body heat, the exact opposite of what you need. Plus, this is not the time to impair your judgment with alcohol. Colder still, and you're going to get into real trouble. The brain slows and shivering stops. Confusion and possibly hallucinations set in. Blood pressure drops and the heart rate becomes abnormal. Skin will look bluish. This is a real emergency and needs skilled medical attention to rewarm properly. 63% of weather-related deaths are due to hypothermia. That's twice the amount of heat stroke. So bundle up and stay safe. Wishing you better health. Dr. John Lepre, News 15.